What's up, gang? I don't know if I'm on camera or not, but this is my little monitor repair cart that I made. Uh, I'm going to try to get in frame with it. Uh, it's really good. It does exactly what I need it to do. Um, I just think I can make it better. Um, one of the things is I want to get my little uh, power brick underneath here so that it's all contained on one. I want to be able to basically have an entire arcade game on this rolling around cart and I can be able to test pretty much any part of a, a jamma game depending on what monitor it be you know a standard or medium resolution or you know that would be a little different story or a vector game would be a little different but let's just say uh, I'll have a 60 and one on there or something and then we can test jamma boards and standard res monitors for now until I can find a switching but um, I am going to send you guys on a break. I'm going to watch the last period of the hockey game, and then I'm going to start cutting these, uh, these don't have to be cut, but cut these, uh, wire ties off and then take off these, uh, little wire loops and then I gotta get my tools all off the back and then I'm going to pull the monitor off and get these off of here. And then, uh, we're going to start, start building a better cart. This should be fun. Uh, it's something I use every day. And so any, any way that I can make this better and more productive is going to be 100% useful. So stick around. Let's have some fun. Let's make a little fun card. I'm Walter Day, the father of esports, and you're watching Maddie Moe's Arcade. And you know how long it's been? I've stuck like black and gold. I'm getting ready to attack. Fanny pack attached. Tokens are all stacked, got the mallet in my grasp Waiting for the moles, ha, hiding in their holes Score we're keeping tally, I'll be playing till they close now Can't nobody beat my high score You can't beat my high score Can't nobody beat my high score You can't beat my high score I'm a mallet master, a single fisted blaster You can ask my baby Start slow, then gets faster. I'm a record setter. My... Here's what I was working with before. And like I said, this works just fine. Um, it keeps the monitor elevated. It actually keeps it isolated. on It's on plastic, so it's not going to ground out to something else. Or I don't know. <laughs> That's what the boss kept saying. He liked it for that. But uh, so now we're going to make it naked. Just get rid of these milk crates. I love milk crates, but it's not the most uh, aesthetic looking piece of equipment with them on there, especially when they don't match. So let's see if it's on there. Okay, so to make this better, I and I've also been looking for where I'm going to go with this thing. This is like the power brick out of a bottom of an arcade game, basically. So it is just barely big enough to fit across here and it's not going to fall through and the spots I have to shoot it down with screws aren't really going to hit anything well um, and I'm not worried about that um, I'm just going to set it in there like that all the time because I take it to work I take it over to Mike's I actually want to build one for Mike's and build one for work so that I don't have to take this thing all over the place and I can shoot it down but it's way too heavy to take this thing out of the basement every time I want to do this so it's going to stay down here and until I have to take it somewhere it's going to have to be dismantled probably so my idea is to build a shelf above this so that it this will ride here instead of where the milk crates were this was blocked off and I couldn't access it, so it's wasted space. So if I can get a shelf to go up over here on the top, set the monitor on top of that, then I have my power, I have the power supply on off switch, I have an extra outlet in the back, transformer fuses. Uh, it's going to be good to go as far as power and the monitor can come on. And I'll be good, I have my test pattern generator for the moment. But since I have the power supply, all I have to do is wire up a harness and a board, and I can see a game on the monitor. 
So the only thing I would need other than that is a speaker and a control panel. And I can freaking play a, a game on this. Just sitting here goofing around if I wanted to. Uh, I don't play that many games. If you watch the channel, you probably know. So probably won't happen very much unless I have a friend over or something like that. Then it'll just be kind of neat. But what I want to do is I want to put some wood at least underneath here. I'm going to just roll this out of frame. Probably. I want to, let's see, there we go. I want to at least put a piece of wood underneath here so nothing falls off. Because I'm going to. I'm going to have some area where I can store my uh, monitor working tools on here too. So there's going to be, should be some extra room. And when I'm sitting here and I'm working on it, it'd be nice to have somewhere to just lay some screwdrivers or my TV adjusting tools or, or whatnot. But, so the first thing I want to do is get rid of this. Flip this over. good uh, trying I really like this mic the way it sounded in the video the other day but my phone was giving it some major interference and I kept sticking my face on the mic so I'm gonna try not to do that and hopefully we won't get those little interference bobbles because I had to, I had to miss or throw away a couple clips I'm actually just gonna uh, voice over for the next video so that's gonna be the little sides there and notice that they're not flush so I'm gonna where's my little brackets I have some brackets like this basically and so what I'm gonna do is put spacers in here on both sides that should be fine I think I'm just trying to put the brackets on the bottom because I don't want them to be interfering on the top when I'm trying to slide stuff across there. I don't know if it'll work. If it doesn't work, we can always try it a different way. It's not set in stone. We're just kind of inventing this as we go, really. But, yeah, this is going to work here because we have plenty of room on either side. That won't fall through. And be good see it, it really fits well this way but my i have to i could just turn my on off switch i guess it wouldn't be a big deal turn the power supply i don't know i don't really need it like that but let's uh let's go ahead and shut the camera off so you guys don't have to watch me cuss while i'm trying to screw in the screws on this thing i need to draw some pilot holes first and the only thing i have i think to drill with is my dremel I don't know if I have any drill bits for it. So this might be a cuss fest. But I'll be right back. We'll have those on there. Alright, I can live with that. That took way longer than I thought. And I ended up having to use the Dremel tool to, to drill some pilot holes. The only screws I had were huge. Okay, so it's not totally flush. But it's kind of flush with that. It, it's good enough. This isn't really going to sit on here flush either. And like I was saying, uh, I don't think this is going to fall off of here by any means. This thing doesn't get shoved around or anything like that. But uh, this part, let's see, let's see what I'm talking about. Okay, this rolling cart here, uh, these are at Harbor Freight for like, I think it was eleven ninety nine or something on sale. But they're like 10 15 bucks. So if you're wanting to recreate something like this. So here's my power button and here's my power supply. It's going to be accessible from the front. And then this is my... Actually, this goes to the wall. I have a plug that plugs in there. And then it just goes to wherever I want to plug in the power at. And then this is actually my uh, power to the monitor. Which I have a bunch of different... Uh, connectors that go on the end so that I can plug it into different monitors. What I really want to do, and I just need to order the 
Sprite Molex is I'm going to order like a, uh, you know, three or four pin Molex and put it on this side and then have several on the other side that go to different connectors. And that's like going to be like the proper way to do it. Right now, I just have it kind of rigged. It's kind of awful, but it's because I don't, haven't had a chance to organize yet, which is what I'm doing now. So, now that we've talked about that, now I have a piece of, uh, I don't have it down here, damn it, it's kind of important for this next step. I have a piece of uh, 2x12 that I got from work that was for the axe throwing that they didn't use, and the boss said I could have it, he was going to throw it away. It's basically exactly what I need here, so I'm going to have, this is about, I think, six and a half inches. So seven inches is just going to come right at, at the top of it. So I have basically two nine inch sides and then like 30 inches or so across. So it, it's going to kind of look like a bench as long as I don't screw up my cuts. So I might have to, uh, I don't have a saw, I don't have any woodworking tools. So I might have to ask, some, ask for some help on this one. But I'm going to try to get that cut now because I'm not ready to give up on this. It took me forever to get those little boards on there. So let me run and find some help on that, get the little bench put together, and then uh, this should start taking shape after that. We'll have the power shelf for the monitor, and then we've recreated that, we've got that inside, then we can start adding stuff to it and making it a little bit more fun. So I hope you have some ideas, because I'm going to need some if we don't get that far. I'll be right back. Had some success. My stepdad came through for me, helped me out with the saw. Let's see. I'm not going to show you this the best way. Let's go backwards. Bring this up some. Here's our monitor bench. Seems to fit right on there. Can you see that? Okay, so now I'm gonna back this up and put it on there. I am not gonna try to drill this and sink it to this thing tonight because. It's late, and I don't want to have to do any more drilling this late. Okay, let's see if we can see it here. Kind of. Okay, let me see if we can lower down just a bit. Okay, nobody settled down down here. Okay, so that is exactly what I'm going for right there. Right there. Okay, that's where I want a thumbnail. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of a boring looking thumbnail. Uh, I guess we should put a monitor on it to see how that looks. Even the sides out here. this real fast. That's a little better look at it. <clears throat> it was a little off center. I'm still honored it's not sitting on there very good. I got it strapped down though. Let's see. 
And this is the uh, control panel I'm thinking about using for the mock-up. Uh, I was looking on Amazon for some way to have it hinged. And it'll come up and then maybe slide out. Or there's not a whole lot of room to do this. Maybe have it just sitting here like this and then on a shelf. And I was also thinking about maybe having a shelf down here at the bottom too where I could pull it out and have tools probably be on the back side that it would open up to. But I do believe there's enough room. And yeah, um, I think we could very easily do that. Put a shelf on the bottom or a drawer on the bottom and maybe some hinges on the front for a control panel. I do kind of like where if it hinged up and slid out and I saw some hinges on uh, Amazon that were for an RV table that folded out into like a bed. And so it would fold out and kind of lock and it would hold so much weight like that. But then you could pull out these slide things that were basically like for a uh, an extended table, like a, when you got an extra leaf on your table, you can pull two of those out and it gives extra support. It's supposed to hold up to 300 pounds. So... If that if that's true, there's no way we're gonna have 300 pounds sitting on the control panel, or I'm punching somebody in the mouth. <laughs> uh, but I, I think I've got eight hours into this today, and I as much as I hate to stop, I really wanted to at least put buttons and joysticks, or, but, or yeah, the buttons and joysticks on the same thing, the talking one, and uh, at least fake mounted on here somehow. But uh, maybe I'll do that, and we'll have that for the thumbnail or something. But I think it's pretty cool. And there's uh, extra room for tools on the sides here. I'm going to put... On something else. Now. All right, let's see if we can even see that. I guess we can if I get out of the way. Um, like I said, I want to look at maybe putting the drawer in here at the bottom or at least uh, some kind of tray that'll fold out that can hold the tools or maybe just some pockets on the side I can slide stuff in just to keep the test pattern generator there. Like I said, some screwdrivers, the TV adjusting tools. So, uh, like my different connectors for power. Um, the outlet's right there, so I don't really want to move that part of it. Uh, I don't know. I think it looks pretty good. I think it's going to work out really well. It's high enough. I, if I sit on, like, let's just use this milk crate, for example. Let's get over here. That way I'm not in the way as much. Just kind of test it out and see how well this works. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Do all my, my business. And then, uh, I need a, a test board anyway on here. So a 60 in one wouldn't hurt and I could always mount it on the side or up underneath actually would probably be a better spot. But I think it, I thought it'd be cool to have it as a playable game and as a uh, mobile test bench, kind of. Not really a test bench. I'm going to use that up there as where I'm going to test boards and stuff. And I just didn't know where to go with the uh, the power thing because having it in the at, right here on the workbench was nice, but I don't want to spin in the. Uh, monitor around to work it so much the the power cord kept getting round, wound up in it and I was just having some slight issues I'd say but this is a good start to a much much more productive cart and it looks so much better than milk cart milk crates <laughs> but anyway stay tuned we will definitely uh, I am definitely going to get back to this as soon as possible I don't know that it'll be on camera but I will definitely show you guys what I've done because I'm gonna next couple days I'm gonna look on Amazon and decide on 
a design on what I want to do with this control panel. I'm going to have to try a couple mock-ups and see how it works. I got some useful spare parts and stuff. But anyway, I don't want to gab. Too, I always talk too long while you're looking at the static, static image. And I hate that. So, no more static image. Clack, clack. We're done. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. These two right here are going to be ground and 5 volt. So what do we got here? Did I not turn the game on? I didn't turn the game on. I guess that would help. Hang on. Here it is. A nice little trade. The person I traded got what they wanted. I got what I wanted. And a pretty good deal on it too. Keep what hanging on. <laughs> <laughs> that comes later. Yeah. Okay. It's it's, it's on fire. What happened? Whoa. Lots of smoke. Well, that's bad. Yep. Yeah, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> when you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So everyone, please remember that. Even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.